people are gathering at Coney Island for its annual balloon glow. Anticipation's building. That fireworks show all, also, what, just a few minutes away, I guess? Yeah, that's right. Simone Jameson joins us live. Uh, what's it like there tonight? Rob, Trisha, well, you can picture this. Ten giant hot air balloons all filled with a dazzling display of lights here at Coney Island. Something organizers tell me took a great deal to plan for and coordinate. But it's also an experience that brought together thousands of people across the tri-state to marvel at its beauty and reflect on what Independence Day means to them. Just came to watch the hot air balloons and have a good time. Yeah. yeah. means everything to me. I was in the Navy for five years and... Uh, you know, just enjoying the, the time with my family. These groups of family and friends are among more than an estimated 10,000 people who traveled to Coney Island Monday night for the park's 23rd annual balloon glow. Balloons are about seven stories tall, and we have a special burner we use that illuminates them from inside. So it looks like you're looking at seven stories of stained glass. It is a magnificent thing. An experienced hot air balloon pilot, Dan Keith, tells me he's proudly helped to make possible over the decades. Uh, this is the most, uh, most fun job anyone could possibly have. We fulfill people's dreams. How many people get to do that? This is kind of a unique thing in Cincinnati. You won't see 10 hot air balloons in one place. As a parent myself, I really enjoy seeing all the families here and seeing the little ones look up at their parents and just they're just so happy to be here. An illumination of lights and gathering of people of all ages. Coney Island staffer Trisha Mullen says it's the best part of working here. And for thousands of visitors, it's a time to reflect not only on the beauty of the lights and fireworks, but the spirit of togetherness. We just thought it would be fun to do something since summer's half over for school and stuff. We just spend time with family, having a good time, being out of the house, fresh air. There's something different. It just celebrates freedom. And if you're not getting a chance to see these dazzling display of lights this time around, well, there's always next year. For more information on this event and a full list of others you can catch this Independence Day week, you can head over to our website, fox19.com. Live at Coney Island, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now. As Simone just alluded to, we have a list for events happening tonight. It's probably too late for that, but also events happening tomorrow. Uh, to celebrate the 4th of July, you can find that at fox19.com. My bottom door was open and all